Hey guys, welcome to Kind Spirit Technology Channel. With this episode, we are going to start our series about R basic programming. And uh, now we are going to talk about R basic types. There are three different basic types in R, and those are uh, characters or uh, strings, uh, numerics or doubles, uh, and the logical or uh, Boolean values. And R is actually not strict with data types. So in first case, you could assign value of uh, 10 to uh, variable a so what this actually means uh, means that we are assigning uh, this from the right side meaning uh, number 10 this is assign operator uh, to variable called a and you could also use uh, equal sign but uh, with uh, our programming language it's consensus among developers to use assign operator so it's actually your choice and the second line, we could uh, also use uh, a variable and we could assign, uh, for example, string k to it. If we print this uh, value out, we are going to get k. You see? And why is that? Uh, because value k is a last value assigned to variable a. And if you want to uh, print type of your uh, variable out, you could use function type of a you see uh, variable uh, a uh, with value k it's considered to be character and uh, if we uh, delete this if we run this code right now we are going to get result double so this double data type uh, actually could hold both integer and floating point numbers if i change uh, this 10 to 101.1 I'm going to get this very same result. And if I want to uh, change uh, this uh, number type into character type, only thing that I have to do is to wrap this number with quotation marks. Everything that is in quotation marks is considered to be of character types or strings. If I run this code, you see now we have characters. Same thing is going to happen if you use something like this. Uh, false, uh, it's uh, one of uh, Boolean values, but uh, if it's in quotation marks, we are going to get a uh, character all the same. If you remove quotation marks, now we are going to get a logical. But not only uh, that you can provide uh, strict values uh, to your variable, you could actually provide some operation that could produce value. For example, we could assign to a value of 10 plus 11. Save it, run it, and I'm going to print value out, run it again. So we are going to get 21. And this kind of operation, it's available with uh, numbers, but you cannot use it with strings. For example, if you type something like k hey plus k, hey, if you run this code, you are going to get an error. So if you want uh, to append the one string to another, I'm going to have a special episode uh, about that subject, but now I'm just going to show you. Uh, you are going to need function a paste, like this. Hey space, comma, hey. Now I'm going to run this code and I'm, I'm going to get uh, this uh, string, hey, hey. So guys, this is all for this first episode. So as you can see, R is very straightforward and uh, easy programming language. Uh, so please like, subscribe and see you in next episode.